Hello and welcome to the Oklahoma Hiker YouTube channel. Today I am doing a portion of, and I'm not sure how long that portion is going to be, the Greenleaf Lake Hiking Trail. It is 18.8 miles in total, uh, but it's been closed for several years and I'm not sure what to expect as uh, far as conditions go. So I, uh, it's also supposed to be 100 degrees today, so I'm going to kind of take it as I feel like taking it and uh, find out what this is all about. Come along. A word of note, if you're the first person to do the trail, you're the one taking all the spider webs to the face. Blue arrows on the pavement show you where you should be coming from and where you should be going. main road, you find yourself in the woods for just a moment before popping out onto this strange little washed out road. Follow the blue spray painted dots until you reach the arrows that signal where you are to enter the woods again. When you reach the swinging bridge, you have several options. You can turn around here for about a five mile trail. You can go over the bridge and do the south loop for about a 13 mile trail. Or you can do the entire loop, which includes the north loop, and that makes for about an 18.8 .8 mile trail. Whatever you do, make sure you are prepared for the conditions that you're facing when you hike it. Well, it is a hot and muggy morning here at Greenleaf State Park. Uh, three miles, I have dropped out onto this little uh, dirt road. Uh, so far, everything has been marked at the uh, swinging bridge, which swings quite uh, substantially. If you're scared of that sort of thing, that one might not be your favorite. Uh, I turned left at the swinging bridge, so that has brought me here. So far, so good. I will let you know how the trail goes for the rest of the way. As you head north on the west side of the loop, the trail takes you beside Greenleaf Lake and the various things that drain into Greenleaf Lake. Water is fairly plentiful here, but make sure you fill up before you need it because it's not always as close as you would think looking at the map. Believe it or not, this is not where I want to get my water. Uh, it's gross, but it's purified, so... Alright, I've made it 5.9 miles in to Mary's Cove. It's taken me about two and a half hours to get here. I've had a snack, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the shortened version of the loop. So just the lower section of the loop uh, past the swinging bridge, because it's going to get really hot today. It's supposed to be about 100. Uh, there is a heat index warning up in the 115 degree range, so I think it's uh, best, considering there's no water on the other side, to go ahead, fill up here, and get going. So it should be about a 13 mile trail. 
Uh, I'll let you know at the very end, but let's see what it has to offer. Alright, well I've just finished the four tenths of a mile from Mary's Cove over to the other side of the trail, which is going to keep me on the shorter of the two loop uh, possibilities here. It should be about a 13 mile trail. Uh, if I took the uh, larger loop, the outer loop there, it would be somewhere closer to 19 miles. Don't quite want to go that far today, so I am calling it quits here. Uh, headed back south at this point uh, to connect with the truck. Wish me luck. Well, I've made it to mile 7.5, and I will say that the last half mile was definitely hard to find my way in. So, uh, have an app, have a map, have uh, you know the compass, know how to use it, all these things. I was certainly grateful for all that uh, in the last half hour. Uh, anyway, the trail up here isn't quite as great as it was down uh, below, uh, but I've only had that one, I'd say, quarter of a mile section where everything was just very questionable for a bit. So, uh, let's see how the rest of it goes. I'm at mile 8.8. .8. Mile 8.7 is a briar patch, and I, of course, wore shorts. Uh, also, it's like very little trail, so follow the uh, orange tags. Uh, I can generally see the next one, if not two, from where I'm standing at any point. Uh, those and the blue blazes, uh, just keep your eyes open for those. Some of the blazes are just spray paint on a tree, and others have the little sign with the arrow. And there's a third that has like, uh, it's a blue blaze with a hiker on it. So anyway, they seem to uh, switch those up freely. Uh, but anyway, just follow these and you should be fine. There was a surprise water source on the eastern side of the trail, but I can't guarantee that it's reliable in all times of the year. That means I've made it 10.7 uh, miles uh, back to that scary swinging bridge. Ah, uh, the trail was kind of marked. I mean, it was marked. Yeah, it was faint uh, here and there. So I don't know. Uh, sometimes there were the orange things. Sometimes there were the blue uh, blue blazes. Sometimes there was just a little indication of a path, and generally it didn't like change directions uh, any places that weren't expected. So. Ah, uh, have your apps, have your maps, have your compass, know how to use it. All right, I think I have 2.6 miles to go. I'm tired. Uh, so I'm going to hoof it back to the truck now. I really enjoyed the portion of the Greenleaf Lake Loop Trail that I took on this hike. 
My advice though is to do it in cooler weather, to have a great plan for calories and for water intake, and of course keep your eyes open for snakes.